Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Something a little bit different today. We are going to be doing a bike build for my husband. You may or may not know, but I'm actually a Hope Tech Ambassador, which is a super exciting opportunity for me. Since I'm working with um, Hope as a brand ambassador, I thought I would take this amazing opportunity and actually help my husband with a new bike build. He had a very old downhill bike and it was about time we upgraded him. So with the thanks to Hope and being an ambassador, I was able to get loads of amazing products for this amazing bike build. So instead of just me showing you my husband fitting all the bits what I thought I would do is I'd actually take some time and learn a bit more about bike mechanics and how we're going to put the bike together and what products is going to go onto his new bike build. Okay so what I thought we'd do to start with is I would show you some of the parts that we've got. We're actually doing it on a bit of a budget so we bought a second hand frame from Pink Bike but we actually really scored with it because it hardly looks like it's been used and take you through some of the main hope parts that we're going to be fitting onto the bike as well um, but we will obviously go into that more in depth as I'm fitting them so it's a bit of a daunting prospect for myself today because all I've ever done really is fitted some brakes which you can see on my Instagram channel um, so let's get started and let me introduce you to some of the amazing parts on this self-build so this is the bike frame that we bought on pink bike it is the orange 324 and it's their downhill frame as you can see. It's actually in amazing nick. The guy said that he only actually used it for one holiday. So there's a little scratch there but that is all it has on it. It actually came with a couple of things like the seat post and seat clamp which is an ad added bonus as we didn't know we were getting that. And it just so happens that it was hope on it as well so that kind of helps okay so these are the wheels that we're fitting on to the downhill bike they are the hope pro 4 hubs on fortis 30 rims as you can probably see at the back as well we've got some schwalbe super gravity magic mary tires to pop on them as well we have actually already popped the rim tape on my husband did that yesterday so that it was a quicker job today. I am genuinely regretting my life choices of filming this video right now. This is one of the hardest things I've ever tried to do. I've been fighting with this tire for about 20 minutes. My husband did the other try tire. I'm not gonna lie about this. This is the hardest job I've ever done. That and the Highland Midges is not making my life very easy right now. Then I need to pump this up. Yep. Do you know there's nothing okay guys so now i am popping in the rotors which are 200s for the downhill bike these are the hope floating rotors okay so we're going to put the cassette on now it and um, because it's a downhill cassette uh, is only seven speed you have to pop in some spacers which come with it so that goes in there like that 
first part of the cassette, the way to tell where to put it on is there is different levels of these little knobbly bits and you look for the thin one and if you look for the thin one in here you can match them up like a jigsaw. I'm sure my husband's happy with that technical term, match it up like a jigsaw. So we're fitting the Boxer RockShox uh, fork onto the bike. This is actually from my husband's old bike with the Hope headset. So on top we're putting the Hope stem which is a 40mm downhill stem. These just connect with the four bolts. So these are actually the Nuke Proof Horizon downhill handlebars. I love my Hope carbon bars, but my husband didn't want carbon bars on his downhill bike. Each their own. My last bike was a Nuke Proof and I absolutely loved it, so I don't feel too bad about him getting the Nuke Proof handlebars. We have just fitted the Hope Tech V4 downhill brakes. These have the bigger pistons for the downhill bike, obviously because they're going to need them a bit better. They come with three sets of brake pads. So there's the ordinary brake pads that are already in it. They also come with e-brake pads now and the sinitered, sinitered brake pads as well. So they have been fitted and are now on. So this is actually a chain guide that we bought from eBay. There's a guy that makes them for really cheap on eBay. I can leave the link in the description if anybody is interested in, in grabbing yourself a bargain. So we just fit that on here. It just goes on with three bolts. So we have fitted the Z Derelia to the shifter. So this is the whole threaded bottom bracket. You might notice a bit of a difference today. We had to stop filming for a tool to arrive. Like every good bike build, you need to find an extra tool. So this just screws into the bottom bracket. So this is the tool you're waiting for. It is a Hope specific tool for their bottom brackets. So we had to wait for it to arrive so we could fit it. This is the Hope Blue Evo crank set. It actually already comes with the tool that you need to tighten this bolt, which is very handy. And I'm just going to pop it on the bike. So we've gone for the Shimano pedals because my husband rides clips, which I don't get because the Hope pedals would look so much better on this bike, but that's up to him. We've popped on the chain now, which is just the old chain off of his old bike. And that is us done the bike build. So I've learned a lot from this. I've uh, also said a lot of bad words because it's a lot harder than it looks. So total respect to all you mechanics out there. But this is uh, maybe not quite what I'm at at the moment, skill level wise, being able to build a bike. So I did actually get quite a bit of help to do this from my husband. Some of the bolts, I just couldn't get tight enough myself. So let's have a look at the finished build. So I will insert some clips on the downhill track of the first test run as well because um, I, I completely understand you can't actually see very much in this lighting due to the weather conditions today. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up and like and subscribe. I know it's a bit of a different video for my channel, but it's a bit more of what I'm kind of doing nowadays. So I thought you'd be a bit interested to see what being a mountain biker is really about. Okay guys, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.